I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Big day today. Hey, Dana? Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Herr Baumgartner's bakery. We usually love the place. Everybody does at the academy. But today I'm much too nervous to eat a strudel. All the best for later. Looks like everyone left in a hurry. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. Hmm. Not bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop, though. Damn bloody Vigeran! The National Socialist Party of Ostertal. I think that's what Papa calls the Brown Shadow. Nothing but yobs in uniform, according to him. I'd better not hang around here. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, Frau Lone Rose, there you are. You're perfectly on time. Thank you, Frau Beckmann. Suffice to say, I expected nothing less. May I have your convocation notice? Thank you, Fraulein Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual Spring Concert is a great honor and rewards the best Music Academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. The piano is ready. Make this day yours, Dana Rose.
I have to activate the piano first. There's a mechanism on the side of it. Everything's ready. All I need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin.
Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. You okay? Sure. Digging an assault mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. Five minutes. No more. Da? Da. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. It's all I got left. There's all Oscar's data inside. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baraner and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is, if I ever get out of here. Mm. 
Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... you got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else, a less friendly face will come to get you. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me, given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, Despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Well done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Of course. Of course! So proud. I really do want to become a concert pianist, but the thought of leaving Papa, you, and the house to go to the Paris Conservatory doesn't exactly thrill me. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. That mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. 
By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Donna. Thanking him is the very least you can do. <sighs> yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Papa really ought to tidy up. Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. I ought to put these away before I lose them. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now, anyway. The Hymn of Wagen. My favorite concerto. Herr Gustav, my future employer. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the Music Academy. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert on the musical square. Mama was so proud.
Dana, darling, I hope you're not seriously thinking of writing a letter to your future employer with that old pencil. Have you asked your father for his pen? My pen? Hmm. Can't be far. Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Four Alberg automatons. These machines are incredible. No pen here. Papa's pen. Perfect. Papa is so untidy. Herr Renner, I would like to thank you for... Don't, 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 Anna! It's too dangerous! Oh my! What in the name of... Dana, darling? No, no, give it to me, please. Oh, my goodness. What does it say, Father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Why would anyone do that? Why take it out on us without reason? Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Horrible!
Kate! Come on! We need to get to work now! That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. An ivory fragment. The guards grant benefits to anyone who finds any. But I couldn't give a damn now. I didn't see. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. It 
That could be our ticket out of here. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Looks pretty strong. Where did they come from? Must be something to do with the train. the bottom yeah and it means the tunnel on the other side is cut off must be the way out I can see the light at the end how do we get across that I'm sure there's a way follow me I have an idea If we build up enough speed, we should be able to use the height difference on the edge of the precipice as a takeoff ramp to get to the tunnel on the other side, and then get to the surface. Sure, that is if you can get the thing started. Don't worry about that. Back in the days with my band, I always used to repair our old van on tours. Okay, but wait a second. First, I want to take a closer look at these bodies and maybe figure out what happened here. They were shot in the back. Looks like Second World War uniforms. They belong to the Brown Shadow, the fascists who triggered the war before they herded up and massacred millions of innocent people. Full tank of gas. And it looks as if they were headed for the exit tunnel. It's like they were ready to head out. Looks like they were in a hurry, judging from their position. I wonder how a bunch of World War II fascist soldiers ended up here. Right. And who killed them just as they were about to ride out of here. One thing's for sure, though. We've got to give this motorbike a try. What? What are you saying? You mean you want to jump over the ravine? Exactly. But the keys aren't on the bodies. I checked. They must be somewhere inside the train. You go and find the keys while I take a look at this motor. Will do. You'll be okay? Don't worry, love. I'm sure this beauty and I, we're going to become best friends. More bodies. Looks like they were shot dead while they were eating.
Another body, great. Nothing interesting here. Let's search somewhere else. That must be the shooter. One last drink to work up some courage. So this brown shadow officer shot his own men and then killed himself to make sure the train was never found by the Allies. Whatever it holds must be priceless. Strange, a hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Shot himself in the head. He wore stripes. Must have been the brown shadow officer in charge of the train. use of that. Nothing interesting here. Distinctive symbol of the brown shadow fascists. Many countries have banned it, and that's just fine by me. One of the keys is still covered in blood. Must be the one for the motorbike. Got 
him. It hasn't been started for too long. But leave me to it and I'll see if I can get it going. If I can just get it to kick start, we might be home free. Anything I can do? We haven't got much time. No, I'm good. Why don't you look around? Maybe inside the train there's something that can help us once we get out of here. Okay, I'm on it. Key to the carriage. Your chariot's waiting! Hey! What are you... <gasps> Holy crap! Wow! This is worth a fortune! I can't believe it! This is gonna come in nicely when we're on the road, babe. A masterpiece. The brown shadow must have looted it during World War II. I hate to think what became of the owners of all these stolen objects. What is it? It's incredible. You gotta see this. Yeah, it's pretty well done. I like the color of the rock face there. Is that what fascinates you? No, Kate. There! Look! It's right under your nose. Dates from 1937, apparently, but I can't make out the signature. Cola? Coba or something like that? Anyway, what's so fascinating about it? You mean you can't see? Take a closer look. Sorry, you'll have to be more specific, Katusha, because I still can't see. Look again, there. The girl. She's your spitting image. Well... You really think she looks like me? Come on, you gotta admit it's incredible, right? Either way, I suggest you put it away. We'd better get going.
It must be priceless. Now I understand why the brown shadow wanted to hide the train so badly. There's a veritable fortune in loot here. Kate, you gotta admit she looks like you. It must be a sign. Hold it right there, girls. All right. You've caught us. But take a look inside this carriage. The train is full of treasure. We could all escape with, with tons of it. Just, just look. Don't move. Listen to me, Simona. You've always been good to us, so why can't we help each other now? We'll be stronger together. <laughs> sure. You've been nice little prisoners. I have nothing against you personally. But... Why can't I... keep the treasure for myself? I could leave this rotten prison. Nobody will know. I could even say you tried to escape, which wouldn't be a lie, would it? Simona, don't! Don't take it personally. I just need a change of life. I think you can understand where I'm coming from. No! <laughs> <laughs> 